This is how I do surveillance system. So I go to the surveillance system here, log in. Here's my camera list. So if I want to know whether it's either going to record, as as in it's going to record all the time, versus as in it's not going to record at all, or it's only going to record when it sees motion, I go to edit and I go to camera, and then I click over here to the recording schedule. So right now I'm going to tell it that only to record when there's motion detection and that's how I do it and I click OK. If I was to say continuous that means it would record regardless of whether it sees motion or not. Okay? So continuous means that it's going to record regardless of whether it sees motion or not. Green says it's only going to record if it sees a change in motion and delete means it's not going to record at all and I click OK. I want this camera to record only when there's motion detection. Okay? This is how much has been uh, recorded and this is what the limit is, 160 gig. Okay? And rotation means that once it hits 160 gig, it's going to turn around. Now I want to not do notification. I only want it to notify me on a certain time of day. So this says that I'm going to get emails for every single thing, but the question is when. So I go to my notification schedule and I go to settings. When a new camera is added, I don't care. I don't want to get an email. However, when a camera is deleted, well, I want to be allowed notification. Okay, so actually new camera added, allow notification. If I add a camera, if I don't care to add it, I'm just going to go like this. Just because I added a new camera doesn't mean I want to receive an email. So right now, when I new add a new camera, I'm not going to get a notification. If camera's been deleted, I want, I'm going to save. If camera's been deleted, I'll get a notification. If a connection is lost any time, I'll get a notification. If a connection is resumed, etc. Recording failed, I'll get a notification any time. If there's motion detected, I'm only going to get a notification in the light gray and not the dark gray. And I can actually change that. See? I can delete it, click here, and delete it. Or if I want to add a time, I'll just click Allow Notification at a time. Motion detected and alarm is detected. I don't have alarms, but there you go. I'm not using alarms on this. Motion detected and alarm detected. And archive limit reached. I care if an archive limit reached any time. So that is the schedule for this camera. If I want to do all the cameras at once, I go to batch edit, I click next, and I'm going, this is my schedule for every single camera. Okay, that's if I want to do all of them. Um, that's it. Once I'm done, I have to make sure I press the save button. In this case, I didn't change anything, and then I can go and close this window. That's the camera tutorial. That's how I set it up.